Back in June, candidate Doug Ford promised to lower gas prices by 10 cents a litre. Now that he's Premier, we're checking in on where things stand on that promise with our Eastern Ontario Hub editor, David Rockney Corgan, who's on the line from our studio at Queen's University in Kingston. Welcome, David. Hi, Jan. Now, before we dive into some gas price analysis, let's run a short clip from Monday's question period, where an NDP minister brought up some of the controversy plaguing the PC cabinet. Here's how Premier Ford responded. We aren't here to attack personally like the NDP does because they have no policy to go by. We're here to make sure that we turn the province around, we start paying down the $15 billion structural debt deficit. We're making sure that we're lowering taxes, lowering gas prices, which everyone talked about this but, week on how low the, ta uh, the, the gas prices were. I went up crisscross this province over the last couple of weeks. Mr. Speaker, I've heard nothing but positive comments. Here, here. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. Stop the clock. Now, we can see in that short clip, uh, the Premier is clearly proud of the prices at the pump. How was he able to take credit for the lower gas prices? Right, so we'll, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll jump back to the to the campaign, and of course, uh, people who who followed the campaign and watched it will remember that Doug Ford uh, promised to reduce gas prices by by ten cents, uh, and so at the time he said that he was uh, going to get rid of what he called the cap and trade carbon tax, and he would maybe consider get, uh, reducing the the provincial uh, fuel tax. And now he can credibly uh, take credit for about half of that. So he's about halfway there. Uh, and the reason he can do so is because he canceled the cap and trade uh, program. So this was uh, effectively putting a price on, on carbon that uh, amounted to about 4.3 cents uh, per liter of gasoline. And that was something that uh, Ontarians were paying for at the pump. Uh, and with the cancellation of it, it means that that is something that uh, the distributors, the, the gas uh, companies no longer have to pay for, and uh, as an effect on that, uh, the, the, the consumers no longer have to pay that five cents. Now, I want to pull up a chart. Uh, this is from Gas Buddy, which tracks fuel prices. Now, I want to look at the far right, and that's where we're seeing the months of September and October. Is that drop that we see on the right side of the screen around September solely related to scrapping cap and trade? No. So there are a lot of things going on right now. It's a, I mean, it's, it's usually a pretty up and down, volatile uh, price. Uh, but no, the, the, the reduction in gas prices that we've seen uh, over the last couple of months, down from about a high of, uh, a 2018 high of about $1.30. Uh, now in some parts, uh, we were seeing actually just today some parts of the GTA and in Ontario, uh, gas is going for under a dollar. So that is quite a drop. Um, as I mentioned about 4.3 to 5 cents can be uh, attributed to uh, getting out of the cap and trade, but there are other factors. And, and one of those, simply, this is a, a time of year when, uh, when, when gas gets switched over from a summer blend uh, to a winter blend, which is actually cheaper. Uh, so, so that's a part of it as well. Um, but, but no, uh, Doug Ford can't take credit for, for all of the reduction in gas prices. Now, you had a chance to speak to an energy economist and a petroleum analyst. Uh, what other factors go into determining the price of gas? Sure. So, I mean, the big one is the oil price. So, the, the you know, global supply and demand for oil uh, has a big effect on, on, on gas. And, you know, right now, uh, as we're seeing with, with our, our, our Alberta, there is a, a bit of an oversupply. So, prices um, are on the decline right now. Uh, they're even actually in Alberta talking about, uh, you know, a, an output cut. Uh, so, that is also having an effect on it. You know, Canadian crude prices are, are low right now, and so you know, obviously Alberta is hoping that uh, that, that will bounce back, but it is uh, having an impact on, on gas prices as much as maybe even eight cents, uh, according to uh, according to some uh, experts. Now, the promise was ten cents. How does the government plan to reduce the price of gas by another five cents? So that's the million dollar question, JN. And well, it, that's actually maybe the multi billion dollar question because uh, so Ford had campaigned, uh, you know, back in May, he said that the other five cents, uh, 4.95 cents, could come from uh, cutting the provincial. Uh, gas tax. So that is a, a gas that uh, the, the province has. It's uh, 14.7 cents per liter. Uh, Ford said that he would consider cutting that down to nine cents, uh, cutting the, the, the fuel tax, the diesel tax down to nine cents as well. Uh, and 
if, if you know uh, the, the, the gas tax, the provincial gas tax pays for transportation infrastructure. Uh, two cents of that uh, 14 cents per liter goes to municipalities to fund uh, public transit. Now, at the time when he was campaigning, he said that that would remain untouched so that, uh, you know, municipalities would still get their their money, their, their, their two cents uh, from that tax, and he, he wasn't going to touch that. Uh, but of course, it raises a lot of questions. You know, if this pr provincial uh, gas tax raises billions of dollars uh, in revenues for the government. So, you know, if, uh, if they were to cut this and cut it, uh, you know, what is basically cut it by one third, uh, then that's, that, that, that's going to be something where they're going to have to find another place to, to, to find uh, those, those revenues, because uh, that will mean a pretty uh, hefty whack as one uh, expert told me to the, to the provincial coffers. Now, the Trudeau government has said it will impose carbon pricing in provinces that, with, that don't have its own system in place as of January 1st. How will that affect Ontario's gas prices? Well, I mean, I, I, at this point, it, it remains to be seen. This is something that the Ontario government is challenging. You know, they, they, uh, they are, they've filed a, a constitutional challenge. Uh, they, Saskatchewan has also uh, shown support for that. It, it is something that, uh, you know, it would effectively reverse that because the carbon tax that the feds would implement would probably be around the same four to five cent uh, per liter range. Uh, and, and it would uh, wipe out those gains. Of course, uh, you know, politically speaking, Doug Ford will be able to say, well, this is the feds doing that. I, I was able to, uh, to reduce that. But it is, it, it's something that uh, is going to play out over the next uh, several months. Um, and, and we'll see if, if, those, uh, if that four to five cents uh, reduction will, will, will hold this time next year. Well, it's something we will continue to follow closely. Thank you again, David Rockney Corrigan from Eastern Ontario, our Kingston. Ontario Hub. Thanks, Jan. The Agenda with Steve Bacon is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. Helping businesses stay on the right side of change with strategic thinking, insightful decisions, and business leadership. Are you on the right side of change? Ask an Ontario CPA.